All right, so good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, we just made it to Miami. Well, we made it last night to Miami um, late and um, brought mom some food and uh, tried to sleep the whole night, but I couldn't. I was boosted up, so we're at uh, Neon's house right now. I'm with my Haley Mae. And um, yeah, she came and rode with me, so you know she kept me company. So we're at Neon's house right now. And I'm waiting on Julio to get here, but I'm an early bird and I told everybody to be here early so we can get started on the car since we got a long weekend. There go Julio right there, late to the party. The other box right there. It's ready, it's ready, it's ready. We just gotta take that mirror off, a couple little more trims off, but he did an awesome job. Now we get some breakfast, some mango, and we'll be good to go. You go get some breakfast, fool. Gotta meet you here. No, 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 let's go. Come on, man, let's go. You're already up. Dude. Go I brush your teeth. I don't care. I'm the same way. Let's go. Well, I got underwears on, but I'll we'll wait for you. Go, man. I got underwears. You want an extra pair of underwears? And I got church socks. I don't know why I grabbed church socks. That's even worse than socks. It's all right, bro, to be a little small on you, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, we're with you. Hey, here, and I got coffee for you. Look. Oh, that look good. Yeah. Yeah. For champions, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look right here. That's what we talking about. What you think, Haley? What you think, bro? That's like that fire. You got a real deal. Uh-huh. You don't want to go sleep after this shit. I know, right? I know, man. You don't want to sleep after this. I don't know if I can work on your car no, after this, real. bro. You tell him I was going to give him everything. That's such a big one. So this is a car that Nino was building for the last year, and he finally finished it. Um, he pretty much did everything suspension-wise, motor-wise, engine park, and painted everything. Brakes, suspension, all the good stuff. Uh, it looks really nice. Everything's nice and clean. I'm just showing y'all. We got to move it out of the way so we can put the box Chevy in inside. But, you know, another car he built. Just wanted the guys show you. You know, what comes out this backyard. All right, so basically we're working on the car and then uh, Dr. Seuss comes over here with uh, green some eggs. Green, green eggs. Green eggs and I'm half from ham right now. All right, let me, let me see where you got those green eggs from though. Let, let's take a, a trip yeah, yeah. away let's, from- let, uh, Let's take a tour. A tour <laughs> away from the cars really quick. Right, but she's the one who gave me green eggs. What's her name? Uh, Bertha. And what's her name? What's his name? That's an asshole. That's an asshole. That's the one I've been making, uh, waking up with the neighbors. And this is the one that Gigi brought me that she made some micro mini eggs. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you the eggs she makes me. Micro eggs. The difference. Wow, bro. You don't feel guilty eating those eggs? I don't. <laughs> they organic, baby. <laughs> so this is where the rack top goes. And I, I promise you every old car you take off the rack top, you're gonna have something like this underneath. So what we're gonna do is sand it down to the metal. And then we're gonna treat it with the Osfo with the rust treatment. And that's it, we'll throw some uh, epoxy on it. We don't have to throw no bondo because the rack top sits there. And plus you don't ever want it to come up and then have lumps at the top. So that's the only place this car had rust at. And it's mainly surface rust, it's not like rust rust. Common uh, problem. Yeah, common problem that all these cars have. So we'll make sure we fix that and everything's that works. He's working on the, the front right now. It's the original, well, it's not the original, but it's the aftermarket uh, filler. So they're like really rubbery. So he's just trying to make it fit really good. So that way we can bolt it on the car, make sure it fits, trim it. We got to trim. And uh, that way, you know, when you taste the candy, you want it to be bolted on the car because it's going to fade. So you want that to have like the mid color, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, we get into it, man. And it'll, it'll be nice when y'all see it again. Real nice. What's up, old man? You all right? You look like you're dying trying to take those clips out, bro. You wanna see that little belly dog? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dog, we getting old, bro. We got bellies and no hair, bro. What's going on? We getting old, dude. Look at them little driveway right here, boy. That's that Carol City driveway, you know what I mean? Oh, man. Let's see how we doing it. Boss is going pretty good. We're doing the last touches now. Scuffing all the jams. Doing all the little jams. We're almost, we looking good. Yeah, gapped everything. Really nice. Everything's Put, gapped. Yep. Put the new filler, gotta block it because damn, that filler look crazy. And uh, yeah, what else, what else? Just uh, wash it real good, take yeah. the hood off, cover all this shit so it doesn't get overspray. Good, and you, you wanna show them the color you're going, bro? Oh man. I think you should show them the bottle. How, how they call it? Grown man, grown man color, bro. You gotta be a grown man. That's the only way you can go that color, you gotta be a grown man. If you're not a grown man, you can't rock this color. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure you'll be a grown man. Look at the name of that color. Only a grown man can wear that color now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that magenta over there? <laughs> it's pinky, bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that magenta over there? That's just faded, right? Yeah, it's faded, but that's that's magenta. It's more or less, yeah. It's gonna so, look it's gonna look really nice. We'll let y'all know how it looks. We're gonna do the jams and everything, and yeah, it's a little process, but I think we're good though, man. It's crazy how the car looks like this, and then when you when it's done, it's just a different animal, you know? Yeah, bro. You know, it went from a, a nice build. A clean a, build. A clean build to what y'all see now, the ugly duckling, and then... The hood build. <laughs> yeah, little by little, it looking out. It starts looking better and better and better and better. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Well, that's how it goes, man. That's the process. That's the process. Yeah. So we, we pretty much almost there. And believe it or not, the craziest shit come out this backyard. Yeah, the man. craziest, nicest backyard, shit. Backyard, backyard boogie. Yeah, for real, for real. Backyard boogie, bro. Yeah, yeah. All it come out real good. Motor runs real good. And yeah, man, you're gonna be acting a, a donkey, I guess. You know? Yeah. Everybody. You don't want the orange peel at the bottom? No orange peel at the bottom. Why not, bro? Because that's how it's done right. All right, my brothers. This is day two. Day two, my new time out. Day two, <laughs> six thirty in the morning. Nino said over there he's hurting like crazy. He said he getting old, bro. We tried to finish last night, but after we got life some food, us. we couldn't come back. Life hit us. Yeah, life hit us. You know, but we doing the taping and about to hit the booth today. About to get it sprayed. I told my dog I needed some duct tape, and he brought me the two smallest ones they sell. That's all the only thing they had over there, bro. Tell me, Brady's on Gorilla. I brought some Gorilla. No, if other painters do this, but I've been doing this forever. Gorilla taping the door jams, so that shit don't fall in and you overspray on your interior. So that's how I do it. I use it. So on, clean the shit out of it with wax and grease remover. I've been doing that for you know, part of those days. Pretty smart, pretty smart though. Yeah. But it gotta be like good duct tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the general shit, that yeah, shit yeah. dominates. Can't be a, uh, you know, Dollar General. So this sucks, you get a nice paint job and then all the overspray from the paint job. All Look at the, the way the door is. Look at the door sits. Yeah. Pretty much everything's covered up. Ain't nothing going that way. I would have loved to take this off, never took one off. And honestly, I get the paint behind it real good. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not trying to break nothing. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah sexy as Cuban right there, dog. The, Cuban mix for you. In no underwear. In no underwear. Okay, <laughs> hanging. <laughs> I would say no underwear. Painter in Miami. Yeah, I said it. The hardest painter in Miami. My painter over there. So we taping the car up now. About to go in the booth soon. 
pretty much halfway done already. Let me show you our little run around what we got going down. Bottom was done. There ain't no Nino. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork will make it happen, you know? Got my friends came and helped me out. Without them, I couldn't get the shit on even halfway done. So I appreciate on that. You know? Yeah. I would have a lot of extra screws missing, boy. Hey, man, he would have had his bump around with tie straps. Hey, hey, but, but I would have been shiny and fast. She probably would have been falling off, but I would have been fast. <laughs>
done, all done, finally done. Two weeks build, you know, we all did a, an amazing job. Shout out to Smokey for doing the body work, prepping the car, uh, Nino for giving a hand, disassemble, Mario for laying down the paint and everybody in between. I think we did an amazing job. We used to do things like this all the time back in the days, but you know, obviously we're a lot older now. Uh, everything hurts <laughs> and we got family, so we just can't, you know, be busting down cars and painting them overnight like that. But it was nice to vibe and do it like we used to do back in the days. And we made it to the Tampa Low Rider show. So here we go, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And yeah, I guess we'll see for the next one, the overnight celebrity for the next one. So here you go. You name her Pinky, Pinky. That's, that's the name of the car. So peace till next time. Straight pimping.